Hello everyone, welcome back to Get Joy Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix Alone in the dark is having crashing issue it is not launching or won't launch Freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even many more issues which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this app so let's dive into the workaround The first one is all about we have to start with a simple restart So just go over here in the start icon Click on this particular icon over here and go for a restart. Once the restart is done, just try launching the game and we have to see and that is what we have to do. Next one is all about after doing with the restart if the issue is still there, we can try this step that is we try launch the game from the Steam. So sometimes you know that even goes the issue up. So we have to launch the game from the installation folder. For this we just need to go over here in the game right click and go to the properties. Go over here in the install it file. Just click on the browse. So that will take you to the folder. If you check at the top that is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, Steam, Steam Amps, common, alone in the dark. And right now if you check over here as you can see this is the folder. So just launch the game from here. Instead of launching the game from the Steam, try launch the game from here which even worked for few users so you can try this out. So hence within the installation folder, I would like to show two more steps. That is all about we have to run the game as administrator and also we have to run in the game in the compatibility mode. For running the game as administrator, select the game, right click and go to show more option, go to the properties, go for compatibility, click on run this program as administrator, go for apply and go for ok. That is what we have to do. Next one is we have to right click, go to show more option, go to the properties, Compatibility, click on run this program in the compatibility mode, set this to Windows 7 or we have to set this to Windows 8. You can try with Windows 7 or you can try with Windows 8 and go for apply and go for ok and that is what we have to do. So once done with this one, just close everything and we have to go back and try to launch the game. That is what we have to do. Okay. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is, we just need to move to the next step that is all about we have to uh, make sure the date, time and region is correct. For this reason we have to go over here. So I will be showing you this. Just go over here in the search. Navigate to settings. Go over here in the settings. Go to the time and language. Make sure the date and time. Make sure this is turned on. Time zone automatically should be turned on. Time automatically should be turned on. Show date and time in the system tray should be turned on. Now go back. Go to the language and region. Make sure that you have selected country according to geography and if you're from United States select this one and if you're from United Kingdom select this one. Once you set this up just close everything and we have to go back try launch the game. Next one is all about we have to launch the game and press alt and tab from the keyboard which even worked for many users so just do like this. Apart from this even still if it's not working we can move to the few more step that is all about we have to delete the saved game file. So just go over here go to the file explorer Navigate to this PC, go to the documents and over here you can see there are a lot of folders. So whenever you are launching the game and saving it up, it, it, the folder will be created over here. So just delete the folder, which means you will be losing all the progressions of the game. But even though that is fine, just delete it and once afterwards, just go back and we have to try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here in the search, we have to go for the control panel. Go for system and security, go for windows defender firewall, go for allow and airport feature through windows defender firewall. Now keep scrolling down and navigate to alone in the dark prologue. So this is the game alone in the dark. So make sure this is added and also make sure both the private and public both has to be marked which is very important. So you have to cross check this. So uh, what it is a very important step that you have to mark this up. And imagine if the if once it has been done and cross check the private and public you are fine with it. Once afterwards just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to unplug all the USB devices. So we might be connected with a lot of things which means the external devices might be connected with controllers, joystick and all these things which causing the issue up. So just unplug everything. Once it is unplugged we have to try launch the game. Once you're in the game and you're fine with it and you're able to proceed further, just connect it back and try continue playing the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to perform a clean boot. So just go over here in the search, search for system configuration, search for the system configuration. 
Now from here navigate to the services, go for hide all Microsoft services, sorry not this one, disable all, go for hide all Microsoft services, go for apply and go for ok. They can ask you to, for restart, just restart it. After restart is done, just go back to the Steam and try launch the game. Still if you are having the trouble, you can move to the next step. Next step is all about nothing but we have to disable the Steam overlay. So just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties. Make sure if it is enabled, we have to turn this off, try launch the game. If that is not the case, go over here in the launch option. The first command is dx11. This is a very important step which you occurred for many users given the command in the launch option. The first one is dx11. If dx11 is not working, try with dx12. So either the dx11 will be working or we have to try with dx12. Once afterwards, just go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here in the search, search for graphics settings. Now navigate to the browse. Now from here we have to go to this PC, navigate to the local disk C, go to the program file x86, go for Steam, navigate to Steam apps, go to the common. Now from here we have to add the game. So just go over here, we have to add the game, just select this one and go for add. So once it is added, just, just go to the option. Now from here from the let windows to side change this to high performance and that is nvidia geoforce rtx 2080 with max q design just go over here in the save once everything is saved just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to uh, close all the overlay application so it is quite important as you knew that there are a lot of things running in the background so just go over here navigate to the task manager right now over here as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background and if all these things are running in the background and at the same time when you are trying to launch the game you know you'll be having the crashing issue which is just quite common so make sure that you remove the unwanted things for example reward tuner msa afterburner etc can be removed from here once afterwards just close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game next one is all about nothing but we have to increase the virtual memory so just go over here in the search go for view advanced system setting just go over here and search for this one Navigate to the advanced tab, go to the settings once again, go for advanced once again and go for change. Make sure this is blank and select the local disk C. Go for the custom size and the initial size 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size 3 times the total RAM. So we need a calculator, just navigate to the calculator. Now type your RAM. So 32GB is the RAM of my computer, so I have to type 32GB. Multiplied with a 1024, that is a constant value. Multiplied with 1.5, that brings you 14 and 152 and copy this and we have to paste it. Next one, that is maximum size, 32GB multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3, that is 98, 304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it. Once afterwards, just close everything and we have to go back and we have to close everything, go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to update the windows. Just go over here in the search, navigate to the settings. Now go over here in the windows update, just update the windows. Once the windows is up to date and if you make sure the windows is up to date, just try launch the game which is very important. Still after trying with this, if the issue is there, we need to update the graphics card. So I'll be providing a link in the description that will take you to the NVIDIA as well as to the AMD. The NVIDIA users has to go over here, select everything like the product type should be selected. So if the GeoForce is there, select GeoForce. Product series should be selected if GeForce RTX 14 series should be selected. Now from here once you select the 14 series, go over here which one is yours, you have to select this one. If you are on Windows 11, select Windows 11 and everything should be selected and go for start search. Now once afterwards it is being done, you can just go over here. So the driver version is 551.86 is the driver version. So we have to delete, uh, we have to download this one which is released on 19th March, that is yesterday. Download this one, install, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. So you have to install the driver version and also you can go over here in the AMD. If you're on the AMD, just go everything and select everything and go for submit. And over here we'll be getting these options for two options will be there or two or three. So Windows 11, 64-bit edition, you can download this one if you're on it. If you're on Windows 10, download this one and you have to install it as well. So either you can try with Windows 11 or you can try with Windows 10 as well. Once you're done with this one, still if the issue is there. So after trying with this, if the issue is still there, you can try uninstall and reinstall the game. 
So just go over here, go to the manage and uninstall the game. For reinstalling it back, you should not be using the same local disk. You have to try a new local disk. So instead of using the local disk, see, try a new local disk. And after trying with this, if the issue is still there, we can try and that is what we have to do. So these possible workarounds can be done. So even after trying with this, if the issue is still there, it is all about we have to verify integrity of game file. So what we need to do is just go over here, right click and go to the properties. Navigate to the installed file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So that's what it's all about it and I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more this kind of videos. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.